Yeah, okay. So if I can have your attention quickly uh, uh, one more time. Yes, you have a question? It can Anything. Be also Any confession that you're embarrassed about that you did? Yeah. 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 Whatever. Something you're sorry for. A confession. I don't know how to. Okay, in the back, in the red hair, red, you. Okay, so um, we started off this whole um, experimental thing with a lot of actually people are involved in this too. We gave 20 empty notebooks to 20 friends. They're completely empty and asked them to start a story and they wrote two pages each and then passed on these books to someone else. So these books are now traveling the world and we thought in the meantime, as these books are collect collecting stories, uh, we would just continue doing live events. And Steffi's gonna talk about um, something that we also started seven months ago at, with New York City Parks Department. Okay, so I work for the city. It's really, it's, okay, anyway, so I work for the city. I, I'm, I'm thinking like, does that sound sexy or not sexy? It's both, I think, at the same time. Uh, anyway, no, no. so, uh, nah, not so much. Okay, um, and right now there are a lot of budget cuts, as you can imagine. And we, and there's not a lot of creative programming. So we saw, basically, I, my boss got one of the books. And um, I basically, you know, I was asking, I basically approached him and said, how about we do this creative writing program in our recreation centers, which the Parks Department manages throughout the city. We have these 30 beautiful buildings that were built um, right after the Depression and uh, that people really use throughout the city. You know, there are um, a lot of them in lower Manhattan. They're, Brooklyn has a lot of them too. I mean, they're just, they're all throughout the city. Um, and like programming is being cut like through the whole thing. And we'd actually like to point out a few of our fellows. Yeah, so about. basically, so we, we basically thought, okay, we want to do creative program. We want people to tell stories. We think that stories are really cool. It promotes literacy too. It's getting people to talk and to connect. And uh, we sort of just created, invented this thing where we, we developed a curriculum so for four weeks and then we, recruited these wonderful and talented fellows, these people who are currently in college or in graduate school or have graduated and are just have, have a little bit of time or are in, inspired by other people's stories to teach creative writing classes. And so um, we have 12 of them and actually a few of them are here. Kevin who teaches um, He's behind the camera in, there. Um, and he's a filmmaker and he teaches uh, in Crown Heights, Brooklyn. And he gets uh, young teenage boys to, to, to write, which is really it's incredible. It's the hardest actually. task ever. Yeah. He and, took yeah. on a big, yeah. And then um, Annalise, who's right behind him, who's taking photos, she teaches um, creative Annalise, writing. Annalise, raise your hand. That's she Annalise. teaches creative writing in the South Bronx, and she's uh, working with adults and on memoir writing. Um, so it's really, and then Joan, who works with uh, kids in Chelsea, and, um, you know, with after school kids from the from the local um, just from the local schools there. So it's we have we really um, have been working with wonderful people and um, people in New York want to tell their stories and we have all these wonderful, wonderful accounts of you know imaginative accounts and, and narrative accounts, etc. So if you're interested in getting involved, please let us know because we, we want to continue this because there certainly is a need for um, for getting people to write and, and people want to share share their, their personal stories uh, with the world. Um, so, uh, so next, next talking point. Next talking point. Uh, okay. Anyway, so our yes, our creative writing program is actually having its final event on May third. If you'd like to come at Tompkins Square Library, uh, wonderful ten-year-old children from all over the city are going to be reading their stories as well. Um, for example, a former corrections officer who is now writing his memoirs. Um, very interesting stories. Um, May third. If you want to come, talk to us. Um, Yes, and actually, if you would like to get involved in any way, just come talk to us. We are looking for people to do events in different places in the world. So, um, as we mentioned, London and Berlin are starting. A friend is starting another event uh, series in Hanoi. And uh, how random! I mean, random. <laughs> how random? Um, I'm kidding. No. But I mean, you know, uh, Joan is starting one in Albany. So it's not you don't have to be in Thailand to to do this. So just talk to us if you'd like to, uh, or you or a friend would like to start an event. Um, and that's sort of it. I think we need to get to the actual reading. So. Yeah.